According to a pair of Merritt truck drivers, North America's first ever hybrid electric logging truck was developed by them in their parents' backyard. For the past two and a half years, the company has outgrown its backyard shop. The company, Edison Electric, which currently has 14 full-time employees, wants to expand considering it has a number of orders to produce its trucks. However, as Sidney Chisholm reports, the company says there is nowhere to expand in Merritt and it's now moving its operation to northwestern BC. You know, trucks are pretty simple. They've been roughly the same for 60 years. So However, Edison Motors could revolutionize the diesel trucking industry with what it claims to be Canada's first hybrid logging truck. I think the logging industry makes sense for electric because you're going uphill empty and you're coming downhill loaded with the logs so you can recharge your batteries coming downhill. And we noticed that none of the other electric truck manufacturers were building anything for like the logging and the heavy vocational industry. So we thought if they weren't going to build one for us, we'd just build our own. These Canadian made trucks sell for about 25% more than a standard diesel logging truck. And Edison Motors believes its hybrid model could cost half the price in fuel. Since launching, Edison Motors has expanded its project to other types of hybrid and fully electric vehicles, as well as received eight orders for hybrid trucks and started looking to expand its production in Merritt. I grew up in Merritt. I've been hauling logs in Merritt for years and years and years. I didn't want to leave Merritt. Like, we started this company here. All the employees work here. My family lives here. And oh, about a year and a half ago, two years ago, we really started looking for land and we said, well, where can we build a shop? Like, I can't build all the trucks in my parents' backyard anymore, guys. Like, that's not going to work. Barber says available land was few and far between, and what they could find was out of their price range. That's not feasible for any small business at all to do, and it, it sucks because we have hundreds and hundreds of acres of land available in Merritt that's all sitting there vacant that's zoned industrial. We haven't had a new business come into town in 10, 15 years since the Cogen plant because nobody can afford to build it. That's really unfortunate. Like right now we are sort of, uh, our municipal boundary, we've sort of hit the edges of our boundaries, right? So again, we do have some landowners, developers who are looking to sell some land or lease land, um, but we don't have any more space to develop uh, industrial areas. All right, right now we're gonna have a look at all the industrial land that Merritt has. You see all that land out that way towards over there, on, next before the highway, across the highway is all industrial land, all sitting there unused. This site that you see down here was the old Tokel sawmill. This site used to employ 500 people. There's not even a building anymore. They shut the mill down 15 years ago and it's still not being used today. The far side, the only new thing, this industrial land goes all the way back there to that mountain, comes all the way forward to here. The only new thing that's been built is this setup right here. And the BC government and the federal government spent hundreds of millions of dollars in government grants for a clean energy biomass. But without hundreds of millions in grants, nobody else has built anything on all of this industrial land. All of this was here for to generate jobs for the community and it's just sitting there being owned by overseas investors, sitting idle, doing nothing. You can see that Merritt has spread out, has all the room to spread to the mountains. It's in a valley, but nothing gets used because it's all bought up just to sit vacant. And it's a damn shame. Instead, the company is in the process of setting up shop in Terrace, B.C. So it was actually the old Hayes truck factory where they used to do the rig up on their logging trucks. And we're just going through the zoning process on that. And hopefully that goes through because that's the only piece of property we could find in all of BC. To operate the new facility, Barber says they'll be looking to fill 40 to 50 jobs. So it's a 1960s building, but uh, much like our first truck that was from the 1960s, this was 1962. Our shop was built in 1962. Well, we restored up this thing and made it modern. We'll restore up that building and make it modern if that's what we have to do. The next steps for the Edison Motors team will be moving to Terrace in June, with production slated to start at the end of summer. Sydney Chisholm, CFJC News. Electric go-kart. Yeah, that looks fun. <laughs> That's what they were up to this afternoon. Yes. Yeah. She wasn't allowed to drive the logging truck. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. That might be for the best. I think this was a safer idea. <laughs> yes, yes much safer. All right, yes. <laughs>